Today we're going over the bent pole drills we practice here at Rise Pole Vault. And to help us demonstrate those drills, we've got Haley. The running plant drill is the first drill we teach, focusing on the first part of the vault after we plant the pole. There are a few key moments in this drill. The first is right at takeoff. Here you want your arms all the way up above your head with your chest forward. See how Haley hits that reverse C position? Most beginners will have their hips swing forward right away, but this position is our goal. Now if you notice with her arms, Haley does a great job of getting her arms up and then driving forward. There are two common beginner mistakes here. The first one is obvious. It's where you collapse your bottom arm. But the second is a little trickier. This mistake involves locking the bottom arm out and pushing it straight forward in front of you. This is a very rigid movement that never allows your chest to come forward because your hands never go up above your head. Next, let's look at the trail leg. Your leg will naturally drift forward right after takeoff, but beginners will normally have that leg swing all the way through. Our goal is to not let it swing past the core of the pole. Watch as Haley continues to drive her top arm forward and her trail leg backwards. This is what we want. Then you simply finish the drill landing on your side or roll out of it. And that's the running plant drill. The second bend pull drill we teach at Rise is the half drill. Here are some of the things we're looking at in the drill. First, we want the vaulter to carry over the same plant they worked on in the RPD. Haley does a great job of getting her hands up above her head and keeping her chest forward. From here, you swing a long trail leg while simultaneously creating down pressure through the top hand. Keep swinging all the way up to that top hand. Now here, Haley starts to throw her head back a little bit, but ideally what we want to do is see our top hand reach our drive knee. Keep your eyes there, then you can drop the shoulders and head back in unison to reach that nice straight eye position. You then finish the drill with your top arm straight and your bottom arm bent, holding the pole in the middle of your body. With beginners, our goal is to get on a really small pole and hit that eye position when the pole gets to 45 degrees. Haley has worked on this drill a bunch, so now she's capable of hitting that position much earlier, which more closely mimics a full vault. Do your best to land with your feet facing straight out the back of the pit, and then that's it. You've done the half drill. Our third bend pole drill is the three-quarter drill. The thing we're emphasizing here is learning to turn while staying tight to the pole. So after performing all our cues from the first two drills, you're going to swing all the way back with your eyes looking right at your top hand. At this point, you simultaneously drop your shoulders back and look down the pole into the box. This will help you get that quarter turn at the top. The funny thing about this is that even though it's very similar to our half drill, most athletes will find it significantly more difficult. They'll either not drop their shoulders back or they'll fall away from their pole as they turn. What I like about Haley's jump here is that she's keeping the pole on her right quad as she turns. That's a big goal we look for with this drill. So when you can hit all these points, then you're ready for our final drill. The corkscrew is the final drill in our system. It's where we put everything together. So after you swing to the top of the pole, you're going to extend those shoulders back while looking down your pole into the box, just like in the three-quarter drill. But now you'll continue to move that top hand through over your head while rotating to the final position in the vault. Then you simply add another half turn so you can land right on your back. The challenges we see here are threefold. First is developing the body awareness to really do this. Most people, the first time they try a corkscrew, will swing up, then immediately drop their legs and do a 360 dive bomb into the ground. Then we'll all have a good laugh together, and they'll get up and go again. Once you actually get the feeling, though, the two challenges are staying tight to the pole and keeping your legs together. Watch how Haley looks like she's spinning right through a tube as she executes the drill. That is exactly what we're looking for. So if you can do all of these, then congratulations because you have mastered our bent pole series.